seduce me. Now, as I already said before in all my other videos, already read the title, so this is the German GM54, the GM54A, because there is a GM54B. Uh, this is quite an interesting little piece. This is, of course, from post-war Germany. The mask isn't inside this canister like it should be. It's here, because I'm trying to reshape it. I will have to unreshape it for your viewing pleasure. And this is its original filter here. And this is the later Danish filter, almost unrecognisable were it not for the stamps that I will be using, because this is likely not safe, and this is. Now, G54, like I said, is post-war, made in 1954, uh, when Germany was, of course, still paying reparations, and they couldn't afford to keep making the GM38s, uh, which were already dwindling in stock, when Denmark was done fucking them over. I'm kidding. Sort of. And the Dutch, I think. If you've got a GM38 with tan paint on it, it's not from the fucking Africa Corps. You've been lied to. Anyway, well, that includes the GM30 as well. So this is essentially uh, one of those style masks. Only now it's been made with a sort of bandage stockinette that's been dipped in rubber, which is very thin and is prone to cracking and mummifying. It's also... Fucking stinks! That's not a joke, it actually does. I'm not standing much for this video because I don't have to. Milady. Miss Spies Mom. I know it's not a fedora, shut up. It's mainly from Indiana Jones, uh, it's his dad's. Now, stored inside this big ass fucking canister. Pull down, release. Big thank you to Dutch, or Bow Knife, who sent me this. Original filter here, FE55 from 1962. A lot of the details on there that I can't be bothered to read. Also by Draeger, much like the one behind it. Now, beautiful shiny canister inside, nice and rugged on the outside, nice and bubbly. Great as a thermos flask if you've got like a bottle you want to hide in there, or like a bottle of wine you're going camping. Now pop this open. And there's an extra packet of anti-fog lenses inside here, being held down by this little retention spring. And if I work my fucking magic and somehow get this bitch out of there that's where our decontamination would go don't have any excellent piece this um, but I will be going over it soon when you pull it out of the canister you pull it by this thing now five point head harness much like the GM30 and GM38 but it has got this weird system where this has to be pulled over to this, much like the previous ones, only now it's got this long neck strap that sort of hangs to your left. I don't quite know why they made it like that. It has got a skull pad under here, like I say, I'm just reshaping at the moment. And it's just as convoluted as the GM30 and the GM38, and of course, uh, I should mention GM30 had two extra straps, which this has got rid of. Size 1, the largest. We've got our lens rims here. Just unthread that with my gorilla fingies. Fuck, I've gotten it stuck. And it will reveal to us a prize. This has not been unthreaded ever, unless of course Bow Knife did. Let's just pull out this for your viewing pleasure. So, unless Bow Knife has, or Dutch or whatever he wants to call himself, then I have not undone this. Plastic, not glass. So, that's the brief history of it. Of course, made in a time when Germany had no fucking money. So they were busy going, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Am I going to have to put this on off camera? For fuck's sake, I don't want to waste your time. It's really difficult to get back on in place and keep the little metal valve things. I guess like my specialists did this shit. See these holes are designed so that the common soldier does not fuck with them in the field. And undo the lens rims. I'm going to have to pause this and come back to you. Done. 
So of course 40mm DIN like last time with the other models. The valve holder of course taking after what we call the Type 3 or the Type C or third type of uh, valve assembly from GM30. This is a little bit bigger than its counterparts. Um, of course as time went on people got bigger and the masks will reflect this. Why you may have trouble getting masks that fit you. It's got a bit of melting there, a bit of fabric marks here, some mummification here and there. And of course you might notice if I let it sit, this is how it was sat in the canister for the last several decades. So this left lens has gotten pushed inward and will not push out. This one's got a sort of crushed temple. So if I flip this inside out, our anti-fog lenses that were in there, we would of course take one of these out. And we'd pop it in there and then pop this back on over the lens rim. Like so. So here's the inside of the mask, as I said, quite roomy. Here's our inlet valve. There's a little exhale valve with this sort of debris and vomit guard. Say what you want about German engineering. It's probably all good things to say about German engineering, and we say it for a reason. Because they had the vomit guard here and in previous models, and it took Avon until 1996 to do it. Or was it 1992? Yeah, the FM12, and even then only on like foreign models like the Dutch ones, the British don't get those. Throw that back on. Chin strap, adjustable. Of course we've got the leather interior, I don't know if it's goat leather like it is on the 75M when it comes to uh, Hungary. Inside here we've got 12-120-9016, a couple of the dates there that can't be seen, or numbers that can't be seen there. There we've got a 2, a 57, a 29, the Draeger logo, nothing there, 6, 62, 24, now I don't know if the other two numbers are correct but that's your 1962, I've always seen that's 24th of June 1962, size 1, G, I assume that's G for Grossi, size, couldn't tell you there, or big, I can't remember, uh, I'm going to throw this on briefly for you, but it will look uh, not good. I hope focus hasn't been screwing me over because I just moved and I can see it like readjusting itself. Mask on. This is also a really uncomfortable mask to wear for long periods of time. It's a shame I don't have a moleskin parka to go with it. Oh, in this next strap on is a pain in the ass. I've got a bit of a, an air leak going on. When I breathe in, I can feel cold air coming in. Now, as you can see, it doesn't fit great because of its misshaping. Now, if I adjusted all the straps and took the time, then my skin wouldn't be turning purple. Um, I was going to say, quite an uncomfortable mask, but for the time, you didn't really care. It was about not dying. And you weren't wearing it all the time like you see in movies and games. Or me exploring. Plus the lenses are still fogging up, that's why you want the little lens rims. Now despite its flaws on this personal model of mine, it's still an exemplary piece. Um, I've had better, and I've had way worse. Um, that's a lie. No, I haven't. I don't buy the shit ones. Chase! <laughs> Comment down below and I'll pin your comment and we can all go over to your channel and laugh at yours. Now, GM54A, as I said, everything really about it that I can say. I think it's a nifty piece. Um, I just wish I had one that wasn't so crushed, so I will be selling this on. If you've seen this video in like two weeks, you're probably too late. It's probably already sold because I'm going to do my best to sell it off tonight and over the next few days. Hopefully I'll get a good trade for it. That's ideal. I've got a lot of masks coming soon through trades. 
So I'll make the short. So that is the GM54 or the GM54A. This is also the mask that Weapons and Stuff 93 has that he said he couldn't tell if it was a GM30 or not. I don't know if he ever made a follow up wherein he corrected himself. I don't check. And that is all the masks I'm going to be covering for a while. And I will be covering others in the future. Um, one particular one on my mind is the absolute fucking unit that is the C3 baby helmet. Uh, I'm not covering it tonight, I just sort of brought it over here. I am also selling this monolith if you're interested. But um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's now all the masks I'm covering for the evening, so there's going to be no more uploads for a short while. Have I had fog on the lens this whole fucking time? And that's why the focus has been going off? I'm not re-recording them all. You can fuck right off. Oh, wearing that thing really hurts. So thank you all so much for watching. That's right, I am over here now. And now I'm over here. I hope you all enjoyed, I hope you all learned something, I hope you've been entertained. Needless to say, don't use this for prepping. Don't. And I'll see you all next time. Toodaloo and bye for now.